Hello and welcome to the first of my weekly uh, videos from after the short Easter recess. We just returned to Parliament here on Tuesday and I'm sure, like me, that uh, uppermost in your minds are the horrendous terrorist attacks that we saw in Sri Lanka over Easter weekend, the most holy part of the Christian uh, calendar with almost 300 uh, fatalities. It's quite impossible to imagine the grief of the families caught up in those terrible attacks and our thoughts are with them just as they were some weeks ago for the terrible attacks on the mosques in uh, New Zealand. All peace-loving people throughout this uh, world can have no uh, truck with this form of barbarism and terror. On a slightly happier note, today is St George's uh, Day, the 23rd of uh, April and it's back to normal service at Parliament, which means picking up the baton on Brexit that we left off and still there's an awful lot of work uh, to be done and I just don't know uh, what uh, is going to pan out over the next few weeks. Today we've got debates on the mundane post-Brexit preparations, so we've got debates on statutory instruments that are technically called on everything from VAT on tour operators post-Brexit to regulations on seed potatoes, really mundane stuff. Uh, tomorrow, more substantially, we've got a debate over local government uh, finance and then on Thursday we return to the thorny subject of schools funding and I've put in for a debate which has been granted in the main uh, chamber and I shall again be banging the drum to try and get a fairer funding formula for West Sussex schools in particular. It's the most important issue probably in my constituency, it's something I've been involved with for a long time and will continue to be for as long as it takes. There's another interesting private members bill that I'm supporting uh, tomorrow which is proposing a levy on the gambling uh, industry to fund uh, help and support for people fighting addiction to uh, gambling and particularly for younger uh, people and impressionable youngsters to stop them getting sucked into the whole uh, gambling scene as, uh, as well. Um, now, interestingly, later today, I'm going to be meeting Greta Thunberg, who is speaking in Parliament. She's the young um, global sensation, the Swedish activist, who has prompted a lot of the recent demonstrations we've seen around climate change. Now, whilst I may disagree with some of the methods that have been used, not least demonstrators stopping public transport working in um, London, absolutely I agree. It is the most important challenge that we have in this world at the moment and will be there and will still be a challenge long after uh, Brexit has at last been uh, resolved. So I get to listen to her words and of course um, anything I can pass on to the I project, Eco Young and Engage, the project I set up now 11 years ago to help spread environmental best practice amongst local schools, um, I will be uh, doing. We've also got an important uh, reception tomorrow by the RSPB, Royal Society of Protection of Birds, called Nature, Let Nature Sing, which is drawing attention to the uh, loss of some of our bird life. There are 40 million fewer birds in the UK than there were 40 years ago and that is a big problem that we need to resolve. I've been involved with the RSPB, I'm one of the species champions for the uh, yellow uh, hammer so again I will be passing on uh, any uh, advice uh, and policy stuff coming out from that event to how we can help restore our vital bird life in this uh, country. Um, later on in the, uh, uh, of the week I shall be back in the constituency on uh, Thursday uh, evening uh, visiting local schools and then on Friday I've got a chamber, Ada and Worthing Chamber of Commerce um, breakfast where no doubt Brexit will be the key uh, issue um, there. Uh, later in the day I've got meetings with uh, Lansing Parish Council, I've got a surgery in Lansing and then in the evening I shall be over in Southwick uh, for the launch of a new mobile uh, treatment uh, centre which is being dedicated by the St John's Ambulance who do some great work and it's one of the oldest branches in the country in uh, Southwick. So I just had a few days uh, away last week with my family, I'm catching up on emails um, now but it's business as normal back at uh, at Westminster and back in the uh, constituency. I shall be out and about on Saturday as usual, knocking on doors ahead of the local elections we have on May the 2nd.